The America I grew up in was a very troubled place. Gas lines stretched around the block. Unemployment and inflation were at peak levels. Earth tones were everywhere. There's no pretty way to say it. I grew up in the 70s. But for some of us, it was a kind of golden age. A time when sexual experimentation had yet to become life-threatening. And do your own thing was the catchphrase of the nation. These were the years when all America seemed to move to the throbbing beat which originated and thrived in gay dance clubs. The disco years. There. That's me, Tom Peters. The last day of summer, 1978. Don't be such a fag, Peters. I don't want any. <laughs> Come on, Tom. Just take one hit. What are you so afraid of? Nothing. I just have to go. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Now, what Proposition 6 is really all about is the right of parents to determine who will be teaching their children. We don't allow people who believe in practicing bestiality to teach our children. We don't let prostitutes teach our children. Be in my room. And the reason we don't Tom, is wait. because it's the There's something I want to ask you. Remember the dance center where I used to teach the hula? Yeah. Well, I have other classes there too. That's great, Mom. I thought we could take one together. Disco. Disco? It'll be fun. It'll be a new experience for you. No way. My name is Mr. Reese. This is English composition. Please indicate your presence when I call your name. Looks like you're going to be reading a lot of Walt Whitman. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Uh, I just said I hope we get to read Whitman. This is a composition class, Miss... Jenkins. Denise Jenkins. Yes, Miss Jenkins. If you want to study Whitman, I suggest you take my American Literature class next semester. Now, Abrams. Oh my God. Teddy Bloom was the campus queen. Every school has its archetypes. Teddy was just the one who wasn't listed in the senior poll. But if they'd had a category for most likely to open a card shop in West Hollywood, Teddy would have sashayed away with it. His poor mother. Save it, Denise. At least I don't look like a valley girl who dressed in the dark. <laughs> Most people either hated Teddy or felt sorry for him. But in a way, I sort of envied him. At least he didn't have to worry about being presumed straight until proven guilty. Tom, man, check out the tits on Jennifer Harris. We're talking kazabas. Yeah? For me, sex was never the way my friends described it. I mean, I wasn't suddenly drawn to some guy's genitals like they were Jennifer Harris's kazabas. It was more subtle than that and a lot more harrowing. Nice sitting. Thanks. You too. I'm Matt Wesson. Tom Peters. Nice to meet you.
we should play sometime. Yeah, sure. I gotta go. My mother drinking wine at three in the afternoon could only mean one of two things. We either had company, or she was getting her period. Mom, I'm home. Nobody loves me. Obviously, we didn't have company. You don't love me. Sure I do, Mom. I love you more than anyone. What's that? This is nothing. It's just a form you have to sign so I can play on the tennis team. I don't have to sign anything. I ask you to do one little thing for me, and what do I get? No way! Taking disco dancing lessons isn't a little thing, Mom. Besides, I'm in school now. I don't have time. Oh, I know, Tom. You're just so busy. Look, Mom, I realize you're in the throes of a hormonal haze right now, but if you don't sign this form, I'm gonna be stuck in gym class when I could be practicing. So, if I do sign it, then you'll have a lot more free time. That's right. Okay, I'll sign it on one condition. <laughs> I saw you talking to Matt Wesson. Don't you think he's gorgeous? He's a guy, Denise. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? Well, what did he say? Not much. He wants to play tennis after school. <laughs> Denise, does this suddenly mean you want more out of this place than an early admission to Harvard? Well, let's just say I'm interested. I really love the way you play. I'm so sick of these faggots who just sit on the baseline hitting two-handed backhands. Yeah. Hi, Tom. Denise, what a surprise. Who's your friend? Matt, this is Denise. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Say, I was just gonna go meet Nadia for some falafels and frisbee. You guys wanna come with? I don't think so. Maybe some other time? Yeah, maybe some other time. Whatever. Oh, man. She's pretty hot. <laughs> Have you two ever fooled around with Denise? No. We're just friends. Sidetracked. You could have called. I'm sorry. I just wasn't sure if I should come by tonight. Why not? Never mind. Anyway, I'm here. Do you still want to play? No. <laughs> You're right. Besides, it's too hot to play tennis. I know what we can do. You sure no one's home? 
They wouldn't be paying me five bucks a day to water their plants if they were home. I can't believe you left your underwear on. Take them off. No way! at a decent hour. Oh. Where were you last night? I was with a friend. Don't lie to me. You weren't with a friend. You were with a girl. I gotta go. Hey, that's not fair. I tell you everything. Okay. What do you want to know? Does she have a name? Yeah. Her name is Michelle. When do I get to meet her? I don't know. Soon. You don't have to be so secretive. It's not like I'm some kind of dragon lady from the PTA. I know, Mom. I love you. Tom, how's it going? Not bad. <laughs> I finally got the water out of my ears. That's good. Thought maybe we could do something later. Maybe go see a movie? I can't, Tom. I have a date. A date? Yeah, a date. <laughs> I had a great time last night. Yeah, me too. Hi, Tom. Hi. Is there something wrong? You look kind of funny. No, Tom's fine. He's just jealous because I've snatched the hottest babe on campus. Right. <laughs> Come on, I'll walk you to class. Bye, Tom. Take it easy. for a minute. What? Honey, what's wrong? You've been walking around like a zombie for days now. Ever since that night with Michelle. Really don't feel like discussing it. I could probably help. I know a lot about girls. I've been one for a long time now. Mom, I know that. But right now I just want to be left alone. It's me, Tom. Open up. Tom, what the hell? Check it out, Matt. Listen, Tom, you gotta cut this shit out. What shit? I'm trying to get me alone with you. But we used to spend a lot of time alone together. 
You didn't mind being alone with me in the pool? I don't even remember that night. I don't understand how you can be so different all of a sudden. I thought we were friends. Look, Tom. Go home. Find yourself a girl and grow up. I mean, you don't want to be like we're faggots or something. Guess not. According to one homosexual, it goes like this. Whenever I feel like sex, I drive down to the bowling alley, walk into the men's room, and wait. It never takes very long. Pretty soon, another guy sits down in the next cubicle. I watch his feet. If he's a gay guy, he'll slide his foot over and kind of nudge mine. That means he's cruising. If I'm interested, I nudge back. Actually, I was relieved, but I still believe the big lie, that if I took one step out of that closet, I would suddenly turn into Teddy Bloom. Well, look who's here. As I'm sure you are all acutely aware, these papers account for 30% of your final grade. Those of you who so desire will have an opportunity to rewrite them. Bummer. What? If any of you would like to discuss your grades, I'll be available after class. I'm out of here. Okay. Bye, dear. Okay. Hey, John, I'll catch up with you later. No, I can't because I got the story. There are problems, Miss Jenkins. B minus? You've got to be kidding. Actually, I was rather lenient in your case. I could have easily given you a C plus. He's got some nerve passing out those grades. Hey, Tom, what did you get? A minus. Well, that figures you're a guy. So what? Everybody knows Reese is a fag. He hates women. <laughs> They all do. How can you stand being such a faggot? Eat shit and die. What? Just leave me alone. Not until you take this crap off. Watch it, Matt. You know what they say about people who live in glass houses? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Nothing. Matt, stop it. Why bother with him when Reese is the real problem?
<laughs> I wish I could see his face right now. Yeah, <laughs> I just did. You saw Reese? Yep. The centerfolds were a nice touch. He didn't know whether to rip them down or have them framed. <laughs> nah, he probably has most of them anyway. <laughs> So you don't have a problem with what happened to Reese, Tom? Just one. How come I wasn't invited? Hey! No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a what are you doing here? Class has been canceled. I know. I wanted to talk to you. Now is not a good time. Mr. Reese, are you going somewhere? Yes, I am. I'm transferring to another school. But you can't leave. You're one of the best teachers I've ever had. That's very kind of you. But I'm afraid I have no choice. They're making you go? I didn't say that. Well, then why? Because I love being a teacher. And because I know what happens next. The kids tell the parents, the parents call the principal. Before long, I've got the administration breathing down my neck every time I'm alone with a student. It's so unfair. Yeah, well, life is unfair, Tom. You better start getting used to it. Mr. Reese, what are you talking about? I don't need that kind of advice, you know. I'm not like you are. <sighs> Tom, I never said that you were. Don't you want to know who did this? I'm afraid it isn't any of my concern. And I suggest you think twice before you make it yours. Disco class? That isn't funny. Sorry. I've had a rough day. And I've been trying to figure out a way to tell you about it. What, Tom? Don't answer that. Hello? It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your faggot son is? He's right here. They hung up. What's going on? A bunch of kids trashed my teacher's classroom. Because, because he acts gay. So I told on them. I was really worried. Mom. Did you hear what I just said? Honey, just because you stick up for one of your teachers doesn't mean you're a homosexual. But I am, Mom. I am that way. No. I'm gay. There. No, it's not possible. You like girls. What about Michelle? Mom, there was no Michelle. I was in love with someone, but his name was Matt. That guy I used to play tennis with. Oh, I knew there was something about that boy. Ma, it's not him! It's me! I'm the one who's gay! Stop saying that. Oh, God, it's all my fault. I know I should never let your father walk out on us. What? Mom, this isn't anyone's fault. It's just the way things are. Okay, let's just calm down. When did all this start? I don't know. I guess I've always felt this way. I mean with Matt. Oh. Well, we met on the tennis team, and there was this sort of chemistry between us. And you know what he looks like. Anyway, one night when his neighbors were out of town, we went at skinny to bring in their pool. And he seduced you? Sort of. 
Mom, it was so wonderful. But after that, he started dating this girl, acted like the whole thing never happened. That's why I've been so miserable. I wanted to talk to you about it, but I felt like I couldn't. Honey, you know there isn't anything that you can't talk to me about. But if this other boy straightened out, maybe you can too. What are you talking about? There are people who have experience dealing with this situation. Mom, I can handle being gay. I'm just tired of trying to hide it all the time. I want us to be friends again. Can't you understand that? My son is not gay. Maybe it was too much to hope for. Tom! That she could do in one night what it took me so many years to even contemplate. But I had to get out of there. Tom! Where are you going? Out! I needed to be around people who would accept me the way I was. And I knew exactly where to find them. I knew you'd be back. Listen, Teddy. I'm really sorry about what happened. I did not come here to be reminded of school, Tom. As a matter of fact, I came here to forget it. Hey, Teddy, you want to dance? For real? That's boogie. In time, the world of gay dance clubs would prove to be a trap of its own. But for now, none of that mattered. At last, I had found a place where the dance floor was filled with people like me. And the air was charged with a sense of freedom and excitement.